Yeah. I think. It, visually, it's not as appealing. One, I mean, like, look at this place. It's neat, but it's dark, and that just inherently takes away from the visual aspect of it. Meanwhile, those things still make the sound like a... Uh, uh, like when you have like a partially deflated water bottle and you're like sucking the water yeah. out of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the dynamite idol right there. I'm trying to remember which way was correct. I also I I thought it was a really nice addition that they made it so that the scorpions could crawl on walls like they do. They just seem to ignore the limitations of surface areas. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. That's what we don't want to happen. <laughs> uh, can I make that? I think, I I think can. you can. Pretty sure I can. Better be able to. No! <laughs> Classic. Oh, the idol. Oh, that's the dynamite, that's the dynamite one. one. Classic motion controls when you stiffen up when you're trying to do a quick <clears> movement. <throat> Gotta be loose, bro. Super annoying. It wouldn't be a big deal, it's just that they shouldn't be one in the same. What the fuck? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> heal up and I'll show you this picture. So, the crystal caves, those are people standing on crystals. Oh, maybe I've seen those before. Oh, wait. Here we go. Here we go. Boss fight. What? Don't you think that would make for a neat setting? Yeah. Saint well, if it isn't a little boy with a death wish. Like what I've done with it, play? Thou fool. Yes, master. Straight out of that first new groove. Right. <laughs> the bait for Harry. Harry's bait. <laughs> they made especially for Harry. Their faces are the best. <laughs> I love it. Forget the the four health bar thing is for the boss. I was like, why did you lose all your canteen things? Fuck you, Saint Clair. Fuck you, Saint Clair. Fuck you, Saint Clair. <laughs> Fuck oh! you, man. Dick. They're all super acrobatic. Fuck you, St. Clair. Do you think you can hurt him with the super sling? Not worth it with all the dynamite. Yeah, and how long it would take. It's already a fucking bullshit pain in the ass. As it <laughs> stands. <clears throat> Fucking kill me. <laughs> he <did>. Literally! <laughs> How far back is it gonna send me? How far back? Please. Pl Where am I? Okay. I guess that's not that bad. Ugh. <laughs> it's. That, this game doesn't have any, uh. What do you call it? Like, armor frames? I don't fucking know. Like, you, there is no invincibility time between attacks. Yeah. Which is challenging. But it sucks ass when you're used to it in like every game ever. Yeah, I'm once again assuming that if this were on GameCube, it would be a whole other experience. Yeah, it's just and the motion controls don't help for sure. 
as minimal as they are. Well, so far doing a lot better. Okay, that was weird. One more hit. Or two more. One more. Two, two more. How <laughs> am I doing? Jump right into me. Oh, there he is. What did you do? Oh, okay. I knew I saw you take out an item, but I didn't know what you had done. Are we here for a sec. Five guys. That place isn't that great. I fucking hate five guys. I think it's super overrated. People are like, oh, you know, the burgers. It's like the burgers not that great. It's like, well, the fries is like the fries are disgusting. They're way too greasy for me. I like I like crispy dry fries. That was a double kill. <clears throat> Plus, I think the place is way overpriced. Like, for sure. Why? You know, once again, the bias coming out. It's like, I would rather eat a Carl's Jr. than I would Five Guys. I, I enjoy Carl's Jr. I've never gone to a Carl's Jr. and not been full. Like, I don't think it's the the best food. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that weird box angle. <laughs> Get us out of here, idiot! Now! <laughs> I love the ragdoll. As he goes to give him the people's alcohol. Anyway, now that that's over. We are almost back to where we were in the original recording. We, in fact, we are back to where we were. Oh, and we got there a lot faster, too. Oh, this is the section that you outdid yourself. Yeah, I probably you, won't this time. You did it, like, perfectly. It was pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> like I said, this time around ain't gonna be as awesome. Oh, you got lucky with that one. <laughs> Flick. Just the walls? What are you doing down there? <laughs> Don't do this, stuff. I don't know what those are, but I'm gonna not get hit by them. You know how when you wake up and you've got like that like goo on your eyes? They're shooting that. <laughs> oh, gotcha. I guess that would be pretty gross. Incapacitating. <laughs> you know, since they're made of stone, like we're weird our eyes are made mostly of water, and so it's like that weird jelly substance, mucus. Whereas they're made of stone, so they're probably shooting coal at you. Oh, good time. I was gambling on that one for sure. <laughs> also, the little scorpions with the scales on their tails. Uh, that's that's a nice little... Oh, wow. 10 out of 10. But, uh, yeah, the fact that the scorpions are ca carrying scales on their tails. Or maybe they're not necessarily scales. They look that way. They might be, like, incense burners or something. But it's just a nice aesthetic uh, touch. For sure. Oh, this one's only two. That's why. Oh, I thought I would have started over from the other side. Flick. Wait, is this the Scorpion Temple? Yes. Okay. Yeah. This is pretty great. This one was this one was a lot cooler than I think than the monkey one yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. It's more fun for sure. Especially since uh, as I noticed the whole thing about the scorpions is like, oh they can climb any surface, that's cool. And then you do the exact same thing. His face. <laughs> <laughs> So now I'm a scorpion? Okay, so now I'm a scorpion? <laughs> yeah, the puzzle on this was way more fun. It's a smart scorpion though. Yeah. It's impressive that like they show you everything you need to do for this fight. And it and did, the first one for free. Yeah, did you did, did they ever show you how uh or did you ever figure out if you could just like drop from the ceiling? Uh I'm pretty sure you can't. 
Because there was one time that you kind of like sort of fell. Is I'm sure it was a mishap. Gotta put those torches out. Bam. <laughs> you have to like switch the joystick at the right time, which it's not terrible. But... Well, this kind of makes me wish I was a scorpion. Get out of my life. Oh, I got him. Holy shit. <laughs> Scorpions are spooky scary. Also, a neat thing. You know how, like, in, like, media and whatnot, like, the scorpion from Spider-Man? <sighs> they're always, like, per portrayed as, like... Come on. They're always per uh, portrayed as being green in coloration. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, there are no naturally green-colored scorpions in the world. I've only ever seen brown. Yeah, exactly. Like, out here in the desert, yeah, I've only seen brown. Usually shades of brown. Look at that up. But I'm almost certain there's no green green scorpions. Got him. Now I can light the torches. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Yeah. Second medallion. Dun 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 dun. Ah. Oh. All right. This is where we got to when it shut down last time. We are officially caught up. So what happens next? More confusing backtracking? Hopefully not. The door opens. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> well, at least I aimed perfectly. Uh, yeah, it's like on the on the page I was talking about scorpions. Is like they usually come in black brown colorations, and then some have a slight greenish hue. But I think that's so strange how like the the popular like when you hear the word scorpion, we know better because like we we're around scorpions all the time. But like even then, it's still very common when you think of scorpions to think of them uh, and associate them with the color green. Yeah, I don't know who thought that was cool. Where am I going? Because uh. As far as I know, in popular media, like you've got Scorpion from uh, from uh, from Spider-Man. Nicole, I think yes. <laughs> Woohoo! I think this is where it burnt out. Yeah, it is. <laughs> what are you doing up here? I'm looking for wild orchids. A wild orchid named Kevin McAllister. Bittenbinder told me everything. You're here looking for your deadbeat dad. He was no deadbeat. Oh yeah? Then where is he? Why'd he put himself in harm's way when his first responsibility was to his family? You don't know what you're talking about. Damn, hey, if it makes you feel serious. any better, my dad was a loser too. Nothing you've said has made me feel better, Harry. I'm leaving. Nikki! That's what my dad called me. You don't know me well enough to call me that. There's something I've got to tell you. What? What I said? I'm sorry. That was a 180. <laughs> if he's alive, I'll find him. I've been following his trail. I think there are more things <laughs> in the temple east of here, but I can't get in. I'll do it. I don't know the meaning of the word can't. <laughs> then I probably need this. Hey, St. Clair's still prowling around. I had a run-in with him and his guide, Puska. I think that guy's some kind of shaman. You wouldn't believe what I saw him do. Really? Wait for me here. Uh-uh. I'm not stopping till I get in that temple. Hmm. Any day now. 
I love this game. <laughs> it's good. I was like the cutscenes are fantastic. It was right around Bergerts that time that Nicole started to fall for me, and who could blame her? It was pretty <laughs> obvious when she gave me her prized pickaxes. I promised to help her find her father, so I headed off to explore the snowy mountains. So now I have to go back to where I got the raft, which <clears throat> shouldn't be a problem this time. Which is fantastic. And by the way, if anyone can hear some background noise, it's because we're experiencing one of the very few rare showers in Reno, Nevada. <laughs> oh god, please tell me these controls aren't bullshit. Like, do you have to, like, slap them down? Uh, so it's... So you control your direction? Oh, you hold in a direction? You And then switch. Yeah, there you go. That doesn't seem that bad. I guess it's not that bad. It's a little weird. It seems better than the raft. Left. It's cool like because it, it's left, right, left, right. Yeah. It, it, like, actually, I think that's a pretty neat application of, a uh, of, a uh, Wii Stick movement. Wii Chucks, whatever it's called. Movement controls. Wait a minute. What? I guess I do have to go back this way. There's no, uh, fast way to get back over there, I guess. Oh, yeah, but what I was gonna say about the scorpion thing is that, yeah, you've got scorpion from Spider-Man, you've got the striking scorpions from the Warhammer 40k universe, which are vivid green. In fact, if you buy the uh, Games Workshop's brand of paint, I don't know if it's still called that, but when I was playing, they had a uh, they had a green paint, and it was very bright and vivid and uh, and pretty, and it was actually called Scorpion Green. Hmm. So uh, they might have changed the name, but that's that's what it was back then. Some I don't know how many years ago, twelve. <clears throat> oh, what is this? What is this? <laughs> what is this? Oh, okay. Physics, they don't matter. I'm just gonna go ahead and not get hit by any... Oh, you, go okay. straight into the, the one pitfall in this <laughs> the, whole place. The one suck pit. Let's <laughs> hope I can make that dive. Oh, there's two of them. Okay. Regardless, getting out of here. <laughs> The flip off the ladder is uh, much appreciated. Yeah. Uh, what are the examples of the characters being named? Like, I mean, of course, yeah, there's Scorpion from Mortal Kombat, but I think his coloration was yellow. It was it's yellow, like and, yellow black. and black. Yeah, so it's like, uh, that's... Honestly, I'd much rather associate... I, I would personally associate yellow with uh, Scorpions much sooner than I would green. Yeah. Because we see, like, yellow-brown uh, Scorpions out here. Okay. Just just a reminder to all y'all out there, rule of thumb is that the uh, smaller the smaller the pincers on the scorpion, the more dangerous is its uh, venom. Yeah, for sure. Because if it's got really good venom, then it doesn't need strong pincers to hold down its tar uh, prey. Video editing score. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't understand, Christian. We were just having a great time watching this game in absolute silence. Nothing happened. <laughs> oh, right. <Sorry. laughs> yeah, that silence. You know the one. <laughs> I do know the one. The one we're all friends with. <laughs> Alright, so. Done with the cave. Ugh, wait a minute. Okay, uh, hold on a sec. Do you have to use pickaxes? Oh, that's right. The, the way out. Remember with the ropes on the. Yeah. The one that, when we first did this recording, the one that was lost, we were like, what is this for? <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. Now it does. Why would you have a conveyor belt that is closed by a giant metal grate? <laughs> I don't know. I just kind of wonder, like, how it even still functions. Okay. Wow, you, you missed a... all of that. That was terrible. You should feel bad. <laughs> I feel bad. <clears throat> feel bad for the viewers. What viewers? <laughs> you mean Luke? <laughs> hey, Luke! <laughs> we love you! We don't really write. We hate that guy. <laughs> I'm fucking this up, so. <laughs> Luke, you're making Christian bad at this game! <laughs> uh... <laughs> and you're flat, stationary, yeah. immobile on a, on a uh, moving platform. Watching you. 
play this. Like, I haven't played a platformer in... I'm almost certain I haven't played, like, a legit, genuine... Because I guess Dishonored counts as one. Are you familiar with I've Dishonored? I've never seen that game. Yeah, I guess Dishonored counts as a platformer. Uh, it's one of those, like, stealth action games. Uh, it was okay. But, uh... Hero Death. <clears throat> Woo! There, there we go. Nice. Yeah. Uh, like, watching this is like, wow, I really want to go back and I want to play, like, the Jack and Daxa games. Or, like, I really want to play Ratchet and Clank. Or, you know, the one I've mentioned before is Psychonauts, which is the one that I absolutely adore. Uh, that was important. I, I guess so. It's like, <laughs> hey, go back the way you're already going back. Just in case you didn't know that. Yes. Oh, whoa. Okay. Yeah, I think, uh,. I think if I try my hand at playing for one of these, I would definitely love to do Psychonauts. Oh, man, I love that game. <laughs> keep walking, keep walking. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> you know, uh, I like the style of this game. It's, oh, see, okay, there we go. Oh, it's a teleport, it's okay. This will get us across the map. Okay. Um, I I like the style of this game and the art style and the charm it has, but mm-hmm. uh, I think the Pitfall Harry's design in the Super Nintendo game was awesome. Mm-hmm. He was a total oh, like yeah. just regular dude. Well, oh, this is handy. <laughs> 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 that smile. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> With the pickaxes in hand was perfect. <laughs> Okay. Next time we use one of those, get another item in your hand. I just want to see if they do anything funny. White Valley. Sounds like the place for us, right, Christian? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Okay, so now we're back here. This, I remember this. I remember the big-ass bees. Why? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe they're not bees, but they, like, carry a... Snowballs and drop them on you. Uh, maybe they're like ice dung beetles? Something. Some sort of thing like that. Oh. Wait, did he just make a... Holy shit. Oh, that's cool. That, that's... Okay, that, honestly, I think that's a... <laughs> <laughs> that that just gets me But, uh, I think that's a fantastic application of... May, you know how, like, when you go into different environments, it's irritating when people just, like, use the same enemy in all these different places? Yeah. Or if they just palette swap, it's like, oh, they have different stats. Well, like... Okay, that would have been awful to experience it was like oh yeah that's a green goblin but this is a yellow goblin so it's like 12 levels higher uh looking at you final fantasy one through six and then probably other ones that i just can't actively think of right now uh but uh yeah using an enemy that just that is the same enemy that uses different move sets in a different area is pretty solid yeah also, one game that I would love to do, even though it's terrible, is Cameo. Yeah, you mentioned that. God, I, I love that game, but God, is it bad. Is that just like that? Is there a shaman in here? Oh, he's murdered now. <laughs> How do I get out? No, seriously, how do I Is that a hole? Oh. No. Oh, okay. Well, you can just jump over the wall. Okay. Yeah. Like, uh, look at it from... The oh, there's a hole in the wall. Yeah. I see. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. Have you heard of any of the reviews? Spinny... Spinja? Spinia? Have you heard any of the, uh, reviews for Jungle Book? I have not. Yeah, I haven't heard anything either. I hope it's good. I want to rewatch the original first. Same. It's been a long time. You want to like just do that tonight? Ten years at least. Yeah. I don't remember it being long. I don't know. It's an old animated film. Let's see, but can you just transition from? I don't think. Holy you can. shit, dude! Calm down with the dynamite. <laughs> They're hella pissed. Okay. 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 Maybe I'll go over here and snipe them for a minute. Because, uh, they don't fuck around, apparently. 
At least you don't flinch. Flick. Nice. That makes it a little easier. I think I can navigate from here. I think there's an explorer in there. But you need the uh, TNT, right? Uh, no. You just kick that open. Do you think you can jump to there with an action jump? Yeah, uh, you just have to... Okay. <laughs> okay. Not that. Oh, okay. I don't think that explorer made it. Uh, we'll find out. I know there's something in here. Oh, it's just an idol. Oh, fuck. Weird. Get the fuck away from me. Do they get dizzy as well? Uh, or do they ever stop? I don't think they get dizzy. <clears throat> I think I'm just gonna have to be quick about it. Not that. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> this place sucks. Bye. <laughs> But these guys didn't respawn. Ooh! Did they just kill each other? We killed a. Uh, I killed one of the natives. I, I think that was one of the spinny ones. Do you, you get know, like? I just realized I could do that too. Do you get a uh, ice boots in this area or something? Uh, I don't think so. Fuck you, man! You are such an asshole. How are you supposed to grab that? Jump to it? Oh, look, there's a little platform beneath it, though. I, I think guess. you're fine. Yeah. Okay. Might be the e easiest idol in the game. <laughs> Just like that. I do remember this area vaguely coming up. It's like a big, huge, ridiculous uh, valley thing, and you have to activate some stuff that's way above you. Mm hmm. But uh, I don't remember too much else. Yeah, best. It seems like it, that is most certainly the place to just bolt through. Help! What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing's wrong. I was just wondering if you needed some help. <laughs> so, what's your story? You fall into pits a lot, or is that just a family man? <laughs> you don't want to know about my family. Oh, it couldn't be that bad. My old man loved adventuring more than us. One day, he just split. A professor at the local natural history museum, Dr. Crane, taught me everything I know. Me? I learned by keen observation, coupled with animal instinct. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you're lucky you had a teacher. Yeah, well, Dr. Crane and I don't speak anymore. He was angry when I dropped out of school to become an explorer. You let him down. That word down depresses me. I'm out of here. Gonna go look for some up. <laughs> <laughs>